Hello and welcome to this video on the theory of abiogenesis, which attempts to explain how life on Earth may have arisen from non-living matter. In this video, we will explore the historical context of abiogenesis, its key principles, and some of the challenges that this theory faces. The concept of abiogenesis has a long history, with ancient Greek philosophers such as Anaximander and Empedocles proposing the idea that life could arise spontaneously from non-living matter. However, it was not until the 19th century that the scientific study of abiogenesis began in earnest. One of the pioneers in this field was the French scientist Louis Pasteur, who conducted experiments in the mid-1800s to demonstrate that life could not arise spontaneously from non-living matter. He showed that microbes could only arise from other living organisms, a principle known as biogenesis. This led to a period of skepticism towards the idea of abiogenesis, which persisted until the early 20th century. In the 1920s and 1930s, several scientists began to propose the idea of chemical evolution, which postulated that simple organic molecules could gradually become more complex over time. It eventually led to the formation of living organisms. One of the most famous experiments related to this theory is the Miller-Urey experiment, which we mentioned earlier. In this experiment, Stanley Miller and Harold Urey simulated the conditions of early Earth by creating a mixture of water, methane, ammonia, and hydrogen. It was then subjected it to electrical sparks to simulate lightning. The result was the formation of several organic compounds, including amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. This experiment provided evidence that the conditions of early Earth could have facilitated the formation of organic molecules. Despite the success of the Miller-Urey experiment, the theory of abiogenesis still faces several challenges. One of the most significant challenges is the question of how the first living organisms emerged from non-living matter. This process, known as biopoiesis, is still not well understood. Another challenge is the fact that the conditions of early Earth were likely very different from those of the Miller-Urey experiment. For example, the atmosphere of early Earth was likely rich in carbon dioxide and lacked oxygen, which could have had a significant impact on the chemical reactions that occurred. There are also competing theories of the origins of life, such as the theory of panspermia, which suggests that life may have been brought to Earth by meteorites and comets. While there is evidence to support both theories, the exact origin of life on Earth remains a mystery. In conclusion, the theory of abiogenesis proposes that life on Earth may have arisen from non-living matter through a series of chemical reactions. While this theory faces several challenges, the Miller-Urey experiment and other studies continue to provide evidence that organic molecules could have formed under the conditions of early Earth. The origins of life on Earth remain a fascinating topic of research, and the theory of abiogenesis will continue to play an important role in our understanding of this mystery.